In the area of streaming, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, soon Disney Plus, Apple had to be in the market. They had to have a streaming service, Apple TV Plus. It just released a new brand network, a streaming service. Is it worth it? It's only $4.99. It's just four ninety nine here, seven ninety nine there, ten ninety nine here, twelve ninety nine there, six ninety nine there. Add it up. Do we need Apple TV Plus? I'm Frankie D. You and your reviews. Don't forget to subscribe. My take: I have all the streaming service. Do we need this one? Let's talk about it. In the era of so many Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, HBO Plus is coming the next year, and who knows how many more they will come. There is no more Netflix, the only one. Now it's too many streaming services and everybody wants a piece of pie. And Apple always had to be one. They want a little bit more of a piece of pie. Some people are Apple and iPhones, some people are Androids and Windows. And an Android and under an Windows. I don't care for Apple's products, but this is streaming service. This is entertainment. This is TV shows. This is what I care. And I give it a try. It's a free trial. But it's just a couple days before Disney Plus Star. Disney come up with it just an unbelievable lineup of so many shows plus it's just a library of hundreds of thousands of movies from Marvel from Disney it's so many things for $6.99 whichever you subscribe in advance why not it's just who's not gonna do it it's a bargain but Apple want to do that and how they debuted with nice shows. I'm sorry. How many shows? Just nice shows. And really three main shows. The other ones are fillers and some for kids, some with Oprah. Oprah never retires. You always have to be in some place or another. And a little bit here, a little bit there. But only three shows. And I give it a try to those three shows. I find the way they watch one in advance, three in advance, half of the show. And I give you my take. One of the main shows they paid on the money is All Mankind, set up in 1969, an unrealistic parallel way to see that the way they went to the moon, it wasn't the Americans, it was the Russians. And now they had to catch up how they're gonna do it. I watch it, I didn't care, to be honest, my God. <sighs> really? It had to be a show because they had to make something, to put something on the network. They don't have anything. To me, it skipped. After two episodes, I couldn't watch anymore. I just didn't care. C, Jason Momoa, who cares, Aquaman. Again, you see the pattern. Apple bringing a lot of major stars to start a new shows. They, all these three shows, they give you two seasons already in advance. So they're going to be with, for two seasons, no matter what. All Mankind had 10 episodes, C have eight episodes. Set up in the futuristic world where all the survivors all are blind and it's born the, the twin babies, they, uh, they can see. They're the only one in the world they can see. Oh my God, really? Three episodes and she's give me my time back. And then the morning show. This is what Apple bet on it and attract the people. Like every network have one thing to attract. The morning show is a big production with so many stars, Jennifer Aniston, friends, Reese Witherspoon, and she's black uh, Steve Carell and so many more. I mean, really almost 
everybody you're going to recognize it. And the budget for two seasons, 20 episodes, $300 million. Okay. That's a look they show for $300 million. They say $150 for the first season. It had to be on all the just salary because there is nothing you can tell that costs $150 million to do one season. What the heck? Where they spend the money? The first episode is cheesy. It's so cheesy, so over the top acting. This with from the first scene is like overacting. She's a great actress, but come on. Come on, guys, write something better. And she's, Jennifer Aiston is okay, but it's over, like it's, everybody's overacting in the first episode. If you wouldn't be free try, it's just give up on the first episode. But I'll give you a try. Second guy a little bit bigger, third guy a little bit more. But is it worth it? I won't even watch the show. And spend $5 just to get that show because the rest of the shows are not even important enough. Is it worth it? Apple TV Plus? My opinion, they only play it in Roku, Fire Stick, and all the Apple products. You know, of course, the iPad, the iPhones, you know, any Apple laptop. That is what the main reason they wanted you to play. Like always, they want to dominate whatever you watch, and it had to be from them. And in Apple TV, of course, the device for the streaming. And the Roku didn't look that good. I don't know what's going on. There are not many apps anyway to do it. The Fire Stick didn't look that good either. It did it slack a little bit. And it's, I think they want you to watch it on the Apple product. And that's why they wanted you to catch you. But really, $4.99 to night shows, there are no many to watch. There are no many good shows, to be honest. The only reason you will get it, if you, after September, you bought any Apple product, any phone, laptop, uh, anything you get from Apple, you will get the first year free. So you save in a year, have it for free, why not? But if you don't and you have to pay, forget about it. Subscribe to Disney Plus because the lineup for that, the first page is three times more than what is the whole network in Apple TV Plus. It's not worth it. To me, unless you get it for free, don't waste your money. And those shows, big mistake. Don't waste your time. If you agree with me, and you are not an Apple, because some people Apple are loyal to the Apple. And let me tell you why. It's a lot of people who do and review Apple TV Plus, and they are all the reviewers and YouTubers, they do reviews for Apple products all the time. One example, I just, I just seen. She is a big YouTuber. She has like a seven million followers. She's beautiful. She's great. She does unbelievable videos. But 90% they're all Apple. You can tell she's biased in this. And she in the first review, she said, is it worth it to do it? And she doesn't say anything about it. Oh, I like this show, I like this. She like, I don't think ever she say anything bad about any Apple product. Even if it's bad, she will never say it. And don't look reviews by people who do reviews always by Apple products because they're gonna be biased. They're always gonna tell you, oh yeah, this is great. I don't care for Apple, I only care about the streaming and the product they deliver. And really, they don't deliver crap. They don't leave anything. Maybe in one year, two years, they're going to grow. Right now, keep going with Netflix, in my opinion, the best network you have, Amazon Prime. Second one, Hulu, if you get it for free or you get it cheap, why not? It's like a big DVR and you still have movies. Apple Plus don't have anything, no movies, nothing. And of course, Disney Plus. That's the one we all waiting for it. Again, if you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree with me, tell me why. Tell me, give me a thumbs down. Until the next time, support your movie theater, support your TV shows, support your video games, and give me a hand. Support this guy. Hit my face with Yoda and subscribe all my other reviews here. Until the next time.
Keep streaming, keep watching. Ciao.